cross. The cross was done as love to us, and now the cross that we are to bear is love from us to others, bearing one another's burdens. So this, on the path to heaven, this cross of Christ is the first landmark you have to go through. And do you know what the last landmark is? It is the cross of Christ. It is the last landmark we need to go through. The last landmark, but this time the cross of Christ is love from us to one another. That we would lay down our lives for our brethren. The scripture says, let nothing be done. Let, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own thing, but also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. This manifestation that we would have compassion on one another, that someone would come and spit in your face and you would return kindness to them from your heart proves your download is there. And this is how the world will know, as it says in John chapter 13. In John chapter 13, And verse 34 and 35. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one for another. And John chapter 17 and verse 20 and 21. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. This is God praying for us here in 2010. That they, may all, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou has sent me. Now to test the true nature of something, you have to put something in its path to see the result. Jesus did this when he created Adam. He created Adam with this beautiful mind and he passed all the animals in front of Adam to see what he would call them. He wanted to see the mind work. And Adam called them and what he called them is what they actually were. So Adam's mind worked. And the Lord said, this is very good. And that was the test. And God tested Abraham to offer his son as a sacrifice. And God says, now I know you do believe. Now it's evident. Now it is manifested that this experience has become yours. And Jacob was tested that he would wrestle with the angel. Moses was tested in the wilderness. And today you and I will be tested with human relationships. That's our test. We will have one person being put in front of us by God who is opposed to us. And God is going, is, it, is the creation going to work? Is it going to play? What is he going to say to you? Is he going to be happy with your response to others? Or is he going to be utterly sad? Because somehow you stop the connection. Because it is manifested in the way you treat one another. If someone spits on you or slaps you or hits you or reviles you or whatever they do, the way, you re the way your mind deals with that is the testimony to what information has come from the throne room of God. And just to close then with 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 3. First Peter chapter three and verse eight. First Peter chapter three and verse eight. Finally, finally, this is it. 
Finally, be of one mind. What is that? Of one mind. The mind of Jesus Christ. All of us need that download. All of us do. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one for another. Love as brethren. Be pitiful. You know, it's not the carnal mind has some sort of compassion, and the compassion is this I'm glad I'm not him. Poor soul. What a what a sinner. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not like him. That is the compassion that comes from the devil. I'm what a poor person. But here the compassion is that where you will bear one another's burdens. That when someone is is sinning, you're not going to go and condemn them. You'll bear that. You'll bear it and you'll see the please wait. Be pitiful, be courteous. You know, if there was a please wait sign, it's courteous to wait. And it says here, not rendering evil for evil. Or railing for railing, but counterwise. This is it. Counterwise, the other mind. When evil is done to you, you do good back. And this is the testimony that will convert many people. This is the testimony. This is the manifestation that the world is looking for. True love. True love. Knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. The kingdom of God. That you have the power of the endless life. That, that power of the endless life is manifested in your dealings with your brothers and sisters, despite how bad they've fallen. How you deal with it testifies whether you'll inherit the blessing, the power of the endless life, the gates of heaven, the Godhead bodily, the kingdom of heaven. And this is the last way mark on the path to heaven. So if we want to go to heaven, there is two things that are needful. We must pass the landmarks and we must get there. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen.